lockdown supposedly is unlocking fairly soon. People, uh, customers particularly, have been locked up indoors, maybe grabbing a beer here and there in the back garden of theirs or their friends' houses. But many, like me, can't wait to get back to a bar or a restaurant and and f get fantastic service. It doesn't need to be all-star service. It doesn't need to be five-star service. Just be good. Uh, you don't need to wow people, but what you do need to do is focus on the basics. Get them right, you'll get customers back time and time again. Now's the time to maybe start getting back in the game, back preparing, back looking at topping up your customer service skills, your communication skills, your customer engagement, your building rapport, whatever it is you need to do. Over the course of the next couple of weeks, before lockdown ends, hopefully, what I'd like to do is help you skill up during lockdown. I'm going to give you some top tips. The do's and the don'ts of providing a fantastic service. I've got a background in hotels, a background in customer service. I used to run pubs, I used to run hotels up, up and down the UK. And I now help people improve their customer service, their customer excellence, their experience, not just getting customers in, but once you've got a regular customer, what are you doing to get them coming back time and time again? Hopefully I can help you out. So let's jump over and I'll run through a couple of slides and some top tips with you. See you on the other side. Traditionally, organisations, restaurants, bars, hotels, retail outlets were struggling to get the wow, to really amaze their customers and everything was, you know, coming shining down like from on high on a golden beam and everything had to be massive, bang on service, customer excellence. I think that's still true. I do think that, and I think we should always try to do obviously as good a job as we possibly can. I think in these days, like you know, coming up to the end of lockdown and you know the early days where people are going out, they want to get out and have a good meal. They want a good, reliable meal, and they want to make sure that the basics are right. They want to make sure they're getting acknowledged. They want to make sure that they're getting the right cutlery. They want to make sure that the person that's serving them knows what the soup is. Uh, of the day, what the specials are. They want to know these things that are going on. These are basics. These aren't major differentiators in what people are looking for. So what I'd like to do over the next wee while is just sort of look at some of the do's and the don'ts uh, of restaurant service. And there's a number of things I'd like you to consider. So one of the first things might be before people even arrive, you know, as early part of your prep and get the kitchen guys would know the expression mise en place. Mise en place, ask any of the chefs that you work with. And mise en place is just making sure you get the preparation right. You're ready to go as soon as you open the doors. You're not still laying tables or still polishing cutlery or whatever it might well be as people are taking their seats. You might have a queue. People are getting used to queues these days. But they want to make sure when they walk in the door, if they've got a table booked, they know that the person looking for them is on the button. And I would maybe even suggest that if you're opening the door, let's say at 12 o'clock, and if you've got three or four bookings lined up at 12 o'clock, you look into it and you go, right, okay, fine, who have I got? I've got Mr. Smith, he's got a party of four and he's going to be sitting over there. Mr. Jones, he's got a table of six and he's going to be over there. Mr. Miglumfer, Old Mr. McLumfer, he comes in here on a regular basis and he always sits in table number two because he likes to see what's going on in the restaurant. He likes to look out the window. Try and get that stuff anticipated. So that when somebody walks up and they go, Hi, my name is Mr. Smith. Ah, oh, right, okay, table. I'm, I'm right in thinking it's a table for four. Yeah, we've got a lovely table put aside for you over here. It's just anticipating that. That's just some recognition. That's just... It's what people, really what I would say is what people should be expecting these days. It's not going to kill anybody. It's not going to break the bank just to have a bit of preparation and have that done. But make sure you know where people are sitting, you know where the tables are getting laid out, you know there's an equal distribu distribution of um, 
people around the restaurant so that no one waiter, one server has, you know, all the tables coming in at the one time. Especially when you get a busy time when you get people coming up unannounced. They've not booked and they want a table of four and they want that table of four over there. But that's their table already been booked aside for Mr Brown or whoever it might well be. So think about that. Something else you can be doing is, as far as the dudes are concerned, acknowledge them on arrival. Uh, we've probably all been there, particularly in bars. I don't know how many times I've been standing at a bar and the bartender is standing there making, all I want is a pint of Guinness, but somebody's chosen to make, have five different cocktails for their five pals who are all going out in their and on that night. What's happened with all this sort of stuff? There's one thing that I really do appreciate. Even if somebody's busy, the least that they can do is just look across. I'll be with you in a minute. I can see they're busy. At least I know that they know me. And then it'll register so that you're actually anticipating, right, okay, fine, who's next? Rather than just looking up to a random three or four people, this is the same when people come into restaurants as well, it's not just bars. Three or four people come up and you know come into the restaurant. If you've not identified who the first person is, you're just going to walk up to three or four parties and go, who's first? And whoever speaks first is going to get that table. Uh, and it's not really fair. So just acknowledge them, let them know that you know that they are there and you're going to look after them. They'll see you're busy and they'll appreciate it, they'll understand. All the very best and good luck with whatever it is that you do, not just, just now, in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, but whatever you do in life, good luck.